Here are 30 online reviews of the audiobook titled, Bared to You. Written by Sylvia Day and narrated by Jill Redfield. 1. Bored me a little. Love scenes decent, but the storyline lacked so much that every time another love scene came about there was nothing exciting about it bc it was so repetitive. I like books that can lead you into things better, and have more in general. You also feel bad for the main character but also want her to stop whining all the time, I sound terrible I know. It, it just wasn't my cup of tea, but I finished it bc I started it. Looks there are more in the series but I think I'll be moving on to another book or series. 2. OMG. Squealing with excitement. I bought this audiobook for almost 5 yars now but never brought myself to listen to it. After 50 shades of grey, I searched for similar ones but they never matched up to that until this one. What can I say, don't hesitate just buy. First time I'm listening to this narrator. She did an excellent job. She's the reason I gave 5 star. 3. Do not read the rest of the series. Bear to You is actually a fantastic book. The writing was great and the characters were interesting. It was supposed to be the first of a trilogy. Then, this book blew up and the author decided for quantity over quality and stretched the series for five books. There is absolutely nothing substantive that happens in books three and four. Then you get to book five, which is supposed to end the series. Well, congratulations, you suckered me out of my money for five books but provided me with zero answers. No he and way more unanswered questions than there were at the beginning of the series. Seriously, enjoy Bear to You, then pretend there are no further books in the series. Save your time, money, and audible credits. 4. Maybe this story requires two voice actors? Loved the story gripping drama with heated erotic scenes. But I couldn't get over the female voice actor's portrayal of the male lead. The low husky tone she took when speaking for Gideon seemed more comical and mocking than masculine. It sounded like the sort of voice one would use when imitating a dumb jock. I will definitely revisit this story again, but next time I'll opt for the book version. The audio didn't do it for me. 5. Do not waste your credit slash money. Yo, I love a steamy erotic book as much as the next one. However. This book was awful. I don't understand the reviews at all. The narration was not good. The Gideon narration literally made me itch with discomfort. The storyline was just horrible. Two rich people who can only eat part of their burger who just mess around. Also, the way that Gideon lures her is just borderline harassment. She says no over and over again. Horrible story. Don't waste your credit like I did on this book. 6. Love it. I've been debating getting this audiobook for over a year. I'm not sure why. It was so worth it. It was dark and beautiful. The author did a great job showing two broken people trying to work through their demons to be together. I was blown away by the performance too. I've been spoiled with audiobooks with male and female voices. But this woman did a great job doing both voices and making me feel like I was there. And the sex scenes, she did amazing. I recommend for sure. 7. My rating. This is one of my favorite series as Sylvia Day is one of my favorite authors. However, I don't like that her name is pronounced as Ava on audio but spelled as Eva, I really wish they would have pronounced it as it appears. I also think the person reading could have done a better job with voice differential between characters. 8. Had hoped for a better ending. More erotica than quality storyline. Wish I had knew this before purchasing. Some aspects of the story were intriguing, others were too perfect to be believable, even for non-fiction, and towards the end the patterns of the characters became exhausting and predictable. There really was no ending. What a shame. 9. Surprised by the negative reviews. I loved this story. A strong woman who is not begging for a man of affection. A damaged alpha who is smitten with the her. If the roles were revered I would have hated this story. Excited to read the next book. 10. Couldn't stop listening. Started once before after reading Fifty Shades of Grey and Grey is pretty invested into that storyline and those characters and it was hard for me to get into another series that was similar in context. But after some times passed I decided to give this series another shot and I could stop listening to it. Typically my audiobooks are reserved for my commute to work but with this book I wanted to listen to it while doing all of my housework, getting ready for work, yard work and any other time I could squeeze in a few chapters. The story is just that compelling and interesting with just the right amount of romance and dirt that kept me interested and intrigued without making it feel redundant and just too much raunch. Very good listen, 
I'm definitely going to be getting the next book in the series. 11. No 50. The story is okay, pretty much straight sex. Rich girl meets richer guy. Both have damaged past. Kind of long. I am not purchasing the next book in the series. I feel like this is a toned down 50 shades. Not sure how this got 5 star reviews or even got listed as a BDSM romance on the internet. 12. Intriguing Red. I really enjoyed this story. The way the characters interacted with each other in real world situation was interesting and hit home for readers that may possibly have had some similar experiences. I enjoyed this book and would recommend. 13. Love the Crossfire series. Okay so honestly I'm cheating a little. I never reviewed these books before, but I have read the whole series. I will not give any spoilers, but I love the whole series especially when it's a dual POV. Excellent narration great storyline that branches out to other characters. I have read each book several times and love them just as much as the first time. 14. Trigger Warning This story touches on several issues of sexual abuse, though the idea is about working through and getting past the past it may not be comfortable material for some and may feel more of a trauma story rather than a romance. If anyone is highly sensitive I would recommend passing on this one. 15. Ads? Seriously. I sure hope APTs.com made it worth Sylvia Day's whiles for getting her to agree to constantly stop the narration in the middle of love scenes and many others, completely ruining the enjoyment of the book. Of course after the ads roll, you have to push play again to continue on with the rest of the sentence and scene they so rudely interrupted, also making it impossible to unwind and fall asleep to. I will now boycott all of her books moving forward. What a complete sell out. So not what I am paying $15 a month for. 16. Unhealthy relationship. I hated this so much. I didn't know that this thing was gonna try to take a page out of the Fifty Shades books. The characters were really flat and not well developed. If you like BDSM porn, this is for you. This book had such aggressive sexual encounters it really made me uncomfortable. I kept fast forwarding parts of the book and audibly saying, gross. People shouldn't aspire to relationships like this and I really find no romance in hearing about them. I am likely not the target fan base for this book. I was hoping for something sweet and romantic and it was really really graphic and gross. If you are someone who needs a sex scene every two minutes in a book, this is for you. And the narrator made them both sound like ridiculous soap opera characters. I know the writing is really bad, but she didn't have to make them sound cartoonish. This book is just so gross. 17. It takes too long to get to the point. If you are going to contain abuse in your novel you have to make that clear in the beginning. One thing I will say about Fifty Shades is it was made pretty clear that Christian had that history. Calling a book Fifty Shades-esque does not require it to contain abuse. I like books on the subject matter of BDSM and romance that did not include abuse as the reasoning behind the individual or individuals being interested in such subject matter. 18. Happy, sad, and hot as hell. I laughed and cried and pulsed with this book. The sex scenes are hot as hell and the characters are so dimensional. I thoroughly enjoyed it from the beginning to the very end. I can't wait to try more stories by this author. If you're shy it might be a bit much because it is frequently steamy. A blush worthy romance that keeps your attention to the end. 19. Narrators are horrible, ugh, couldn't finish. I've been really trying to get through just the beginning of this audiobook and the narration is so horrible that it's almost ridiculous. The main female character is so matter-of-factly about everything and not in a million years could I even imagine her being sexual. Listening to her talk about how turned on she is, is like hearing someone talk about their day at work while they pick up dog POO. The main male character is even worse. When he speaks, he definitely sounds like someone who has spent a lot of time watching porn and dreaming about the day he might get some, but definitely not being the guy who ever actually will. Also, storyline was weird. There was no character development and when some guy blatantly says, I want to f asterisk CKU, it's not really hot, regardless of how attractive he may be. He like wanted to lay her down from the moment he say her. Why? What makes her so unique? Ugh. Wish I could get my money back. 20. Chapter 1 and I'm out. That's as far as I got. I don't relate to quivering idiots. The main character, Ava, is way too spineless for me to admire. I mean, dear God, get a grip. It's just a man. The author writes like a 15-year-old adolescent fantasizing about her first time. Over the top. And the narrator has this odd way of clipping her words. 
She's working too hard on enunciation and it's really distracting. 21. Narrator great for female voices, not male. This review is hard for me because I've read this series multiple times and therefore already had an opinion about what character voices should vaguely sound like. Here's where it's difficult, I feel that Jill's voice is perfect for Ava, however, she doesn't differentiate much between voices, whether male or female. Plus she just doesn't have a male voice. This is an issue when you're listening to a book with a main age character who is supposed to be a strong, alpha type male. It takes so much from the feel of the story not only when you know it's supposed to be him speaking, but especially when you don't realize who is supposed to be speaking until part way through the sentence. This book would be great if it were narrated in duet style, have a man with a masculine voice reading all of the speaking lines for the age Mariana Zapata did this in from Look Off With Love, even though the book is completely from a single age POV, she had Teddy Hamilton read all of the male main character's lines. Not every male voice, just his and it's the perfect compromise. 22. Bad narration. This series is one of my favorite. I had brought the whole set on my Kindle. After subscribing to free Audible Asgusp, I decided to download the books to listen while I crocheted. The narrator is horrible. I hate the way she voice other characters. Especially Gideon. She makes him sound like a young, immature, incompetent boy. Not the strong, aggressive, wealthy, mature man, he is. I'm highly upset with the way she makes all characters sound, truthfully. Another reader would not get the full effect of the story, from listening to the narrator. If I hadn't read the books already, I would had trashed the author on the lack of interest of the story. It's not the story, it's the narration. 23. Great audiobook. Absolutely love this audiobook. The narrator definitely brought something to the storyline. I have reread these books many times and I absolutely love them. Gideon is the ultimate alpha character. I like that you actually feel the chemistry between Gideon and Eva in the audiobook. There is so much that you actually feel throughout the book. This storyline is not all sunshine and rainbows it is hard and it is painful. It shows that we all have shadows and skeletons in our closets and we all deal with pain in different ways. But we all come together in love. 24. Obsessed with this series. These books are like 50 shades of grey with better writing and characters. I picked to listen to this story on a whim and it was fantastic. The author creates such chemistry between Eva and Gideon. Seriously, this has taken over my life. I am not sure if that's a completely good thing just yet. 25. So much drama. OMG. It's so heavy. Don't expect to finish this with a warm and fuzzy feeling. It is entertaining and I laughed many times. I finished the book within two days. So I definitely enjoyed it. Just wish it wasn't so heavy. But maybe that was the intention. I will listen to the next in the series. But not till after something happy and lighthearted. 26. Overrated. So much potential but it lacks so much. I think the author focused way too much on sex. The relationship between the characters seemed forced and rushed. What happened to getting to know the person before jumping into the relationship? There is so much to be said but I don't want to spoil it for others. Someone said that this story is better than Fifty Shades of Grey. Definitely not. I really tried but I couldn't even finish it after 6 hours I was done. 27. A little quickened. There were many eye roll moments when listening to this. I like my romance novels to have substance and there were so many moments that shine through that kept me hanging on. Not really anything was relatable and the trauma that was portrayed for the main character just made me think that this whole situation and story would be different. It was an okay listen to, but the sex parts got old and boring that I just fast forwarded through to get to the storyline. 28. You won't need your brain for this book. The main female protagonist screams I'm not like other girls. The main love interest is incredibly underdeveloped and has no personality. Oftentimes in the book they talk about how charismatic he is but there is no evidence of him being charismatic in any dialogue. He is the male equivalent of a manic pixie girl, dominating billionaire boy toy. The relationship the two have is very unhealthy. The sex scenes are okay at first but become stale quite quickly. There's constant conflict throughout the book but you don't care about the characters and you know they're going to end up together so there's no point to any of it. If you were a 17 year old girl and have never had a healthy relationship you'll like this one but if you're an adult who likes to think you'll be laughing out loud and some of this trash. And the narrator bless her heart, was just awkward being the male role during sex scenes. 29. Great story, male voice was the only negative. I thought the story was great, 
lots of interesting stuff right from the get-go, hot love scenes, and the female narration was fantastic. But, the narrator's male voice was really off-putting for most of the book. Besides the tone of it, I think the worst part was that her female vocal was so dramatic and lively, and the male narration was so monotone. I get that it was part of the character, but that was a little over the top for me. Thankfully the writing kept me listening, but I'm really hoping her male narration gets better as the book's progress. 30. Fire 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 Oh Gideon Cross, where do I even start this review? Gideon is rich, powerful, and a broken man. He is happy with life and doesn't have to deal with his brokenness until he meets Eva. Eva is rich but want to make her own path in life and has her own broken past. Gideon and Eva meeting is like fate. They are drawn to each other immediately and a whirlwind relationship begins. I love Eva's feistiness and the relationships she has with the people she. Great series foundation built in this book. I have read this book previously but the audio gives the story a completely different life. Thank you for watching. Please, do not forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Tune in for more online audiobooks reviews.